Hi, my Facebook, Twitter, YouTube friends. It's Michelle Dates coming to you live, as I always say, from California. I thought I'd take a second. It is sunny in sunny California today. I mean, really hot out here. It's about 2 o'clock on uh, the L.A. area. And uh, I thought I would give you guys a little uh, jump start on summer. Even though it is not summer, May seems to be the hottest. In April, it's really hot right now. One more week, and it is May. I also want to express it is a line awareness in May. Ticks, mosquitoes, all those nasty little bugs that can carry vectors, that carry those very bad diseases that people get Lyme disease. May is Lyme awareness, so I'm very big myself as a survivor of either a mosquito, something had got me as I have many videos out. I think the 40,000 views of that I saw on Google last year, I, it was on my Facebook, I put them public. I don't, I just started doing YouTube, so this is new. I had a camera person, so this is new for me doing it on my camera phone. I don't even have a, another type of camera. This is my camera phone. So doing it from home, gotten a little bit better, able to do things, was a makeup artist, was a nurse. Everyone knows, everyone knows my bio. Uh, beauty field was my last career. The first career was nursing fell into the makeup industry, I worked with a lot of fun people, and my illness became more of the reporting because of my background with NBC, and I used to call them, and uh, I would post, and they would post, and I always thank NBC in Los Angeles. So today, which I always tell everyone when I get up, I seem to do this every day, and I'm glad I'm doing it every day because it gives someone that has not seen me uh, to learn for their child in my town and even two to three hours east out always asks me what do we do when we hike and remember ticks are very small and you need to pull them out with a tweezer the whole head if you don't you never know in the city where I grew up there is deer in that area it doesn't matter what animal what wild anymore coyotes squirrels they're all not good to carry things. You get one bad tick, bug, mosquito, mite, you could end up with a lot of illness. And lingering effect is what I have. Uh, Crohn's, fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, um, eye problems, you would have a lot. But I do deal with my life and I just have more of the stomach problems today and uh, uh, it's taken me a very long time. So I'm out to help others but I wanted to share my afternoon. So it is now probably about 80 or 90 degrees outside, yes, in California. So I make myself a drink. So what I'm going to do is make myself some aloe vera, which I do, and it's my aloe vera drink. And I put it in with my, what I call mama chi drink. And it has 2,500 milligrams, it's uh, raspberry. And actually I'm not gonna do too much. Put a little bit of a banana, put some ice in it, Put some of my supplements, my magnesium, my stuff that are immune boosters that I tell everyone that I use. And I do put what is silver in there, which is a natural antibiotic. So I do not get sick. The last thing that I need is to go down. Being so tiny that I am, I need to keep my weight up and my inflammation down. So if you have kids, you can make them one as well too. They'll love it. You can also put blueberries. And you can make actually a blueberry and applesauce for your child by the pool after they have lunch. And what is their lunch? I found this great. If you want to make any peanut butter and jelly, which bread is really not the best, but gluten-free. I'm a gluten-free person. So I found some of the great gluten-free chicken McNuggets. So if you can find some good chicken McNuggets for your child that doesn't uh, hurt you if you have stomach problems, sometimes the kids say my tummy hurts, gluten-free is the best. So I like gluten-free chicken McNuggets. If it's in a pinch, you can put those in the toaster oven, microwave, and they're great. You can also, for yourself, take some cucumber, 
And there's also a great dip I get up at Trader Joe's here in my uh, town. And it's a yogurt. And yogurt is a actually a probiotic because it does have a lot of stuff in there that helps the belly. And it has cilantro and chive. And cilantro is a natural detoxer. Remember, we want to detox heavy metals. Today's day, we have the water. We have metals in the pipes are coming through, as I talked about alkaline water yesterday and posted that. Remember, we want our body to be more alkaline than acid. And in that case, um, it seems to be heavy metals come from the sink, come from uh, mercury, come from tuna. So we want to stay healthy. Last, I'm not going to stay on long because I want to get going myself and eat and go get some sunshine is this plastic I found in my drawer. Don't know how it got there, but I'm sure uh, someone I know did this. And I looked at the back, which I've always complained for years. You cannot have plastic that is rubbing off because this is what causes illness. This is what makes us sick. So I'm very big on stainless steel. I'm not big on plastic. Uh, my mother always teased me and said, you watch everything. Well, you have to today. Bacteria, fungi, viruses, everything. If you eat a garlic, you're doing good. You're getting rid of a bacteria, bacterial infection, or fungus. So remember, I'm not going to give you a lot. just want to give you some fun sunshine tips for the kids, give them some McNuggets, Give them some applesauce, give them some blueberries, and give them actually at the end, here's the best of all. Give them a gluten-free cookie and they'll enjoy it. It's awesome. It's only about eight milligrams of uh, sugar, not a whole lot. And you know what? They'll love it. They're small and they'll enjoy it. It tastes just like a brownie. And then they'll hop in that pool. You guys have a good day. Coming from California, Michelle Dates. Bye-bye.